Hello. Hello. My name's Dan Selman. I'm co-owner of Club Paris with my brother Scott. We uh, inherited from my father, Charlie. Should have reservations for two oh. at one o'clock. Yep. My dad passed away in 99 and we became co-owners at that time. His spirit is still alive here, that's for sure. How are we doing, Sheila? I'm great, how are you? The building was built late 20s, early 30s, and used to be the funeral home in town. It became Club Paris in 1957. I met a gal here named Grace. She goes, you know, I've been coming in here since before I was born. She goes, yeah, my mother was pregnant with me when the earthquake hit and was sitting up front by the windows when the windows fell in on her. My dad told me to have a, a business card drawn up. So I had a business card drawn up and I had my title as glorified busboy. <laughs> He's like, it should say floor manager. He's like, come on, dad, let's call it like it is. I run around here with a rag in my hand. <laughs> We got a great staff. Most of our people have been here, you know, 5, 10, 15, 20 years. And I, I consider somebody who's only been here for five years a newbie. You're staying out of trouble. Take a I'm trying to stay out of trouble. We've created a, I like to call it a big dysfunctional family here. Can I have my lighter back? I get to go take my union break. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Pretty much every every night or every day of the week I work, there's somebody I know on a fairly personal level. I mean, it's just, that's what makes the business enjoyable for me. I had a guy last night walk out after dinner and, and say, hey, thanks for the service and the conversation. Carrying on the tradition of, you know, Club Paris is just about uh, doing the best we can and getting the best product we can and not dressing it up. I moved away and just came back and wanted to go back to an exact place that we left long ago. Right. Only way to go, big I